Now that you've considered these, let's look at some potential challenges and their responses. If you need to establish parameters around cost structures, you can clearly define these with joint input and budget management terms. If you need to clarify data ownership and use, you can clearly define intellectual property sharing terms early on. You can read below some additional examples. You might have explored alternative possibilities. The key is that engaging in this thought process with your partner will help guide your relationship moving forward and ultimately impact the quality of your work. Though they are not easy, effective partnerships are at the heart of embedded research translation. Exploring and planning for this partnership is critical for any translation strategy. For any additional support you need in developing your partnership, guidance and templates are available such as the National Cancer Institute's Collaboration and Team Science Field Guide. While establishing a partnership is critical, once it's underway, researchers and practitioners will also have to determine a process for working together. Considering questions like, who will be involved from your institution? What kinds of activities will you do together and separately? What costs might be associated with these activities? What other factors need to be taken into consideration before you begin to work together on this project? Answering these questions help all partners build a plan or a roadmap that will ease their collaboration. Another way to think about this step is to consider it a move from establishing your partnership and the components behind it to actually working together. This is what we call the process phase or how you actively collaborate to complete the work. To dive deeper into consideration of the process stage, let's consider a scenario. You are an education researcher and you and your institution have a strong relationship with an NGO partner. You have worked with them on a number of occasions, working with one of their country program teams on a research project you led on early grade reading, where they helped with stakeholder identification and analysis and another time with some of their evaluation staff on another project where they supported data collection and field testing. You have now decided that based on this close relationship and strong partnership, you will work together on a donor-funded project to research effective ways to support early grade learning in conflict areas. You have decided on the country where you will focus this research and together are now honing the research questions and you have to begin to plan the actual process for how you're going to do this work together. Now consider the following. What are the key questions that you will need answered to go from the initial partnership stage to actual practical planning for working together on this project? And how might you go about getting them answered? Please prepare to enter two potential answers for each.